St. Paul spoke of the simplicity that is in Christ, and he said this most succinctly or most precisely, in my opinion, in 1 Corinthians 2, verse 2, when he said that, I have chosen not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. That may not be a perfect quotation of that verse, but that's the gist of what he says. And the way I hear that is that he has chosen not to know anything except God. That is who Jesus Christ is. And your God, Jesus Christ, crucified or gave himself for and to you. The life of believing in your creator is a very simple life. It is not easy, however. It's very difficult. Theology is, is difficult in a different way because you have to get everything down. You have to learn all these things. Whereas the spirit that teaches you does have a maturing process. You do grow in that process, but it is about learning simple concepts. So if somebody asks me who my God is, I can say, well, he told me who he is. He said, if he that has seen me has seen the Father. Now, if you ask me what that means, I say, it means if, if I see Jesus, clearly I see him for who he is, I see the Father. If when I see Jesus, I don't see the Father, I don't see Jesus. But if you believe in one of these theologies, one of these doctrines, one of these traditions of men, oh, when you see Jesus, you see, that doesn't mean you see the Father. Well, let me tell you what that means. I, I have whole volumes of books to, to tell you what that means. And let's get into it in the theology. And our minds are so puny and you just can't. I did a video recently about how, what that really means. What you're saying, in essence, you're agreeing with the devil because you're saying that one of two things, if not both, that your God is not able to reveal to you who he is. Or he doesn't want you to know who he is because he's not even a him. He's not a person. He's a group of people. He's a community, a committee, a hodgepodge of people. That's who your God is. That's some amorphous blob, some undefinable thing of which you get to choose which one you will commune with at any given time, which is purely pagan. That's why he did not want them to go after these other gods. It's not just because they were no gods at all. It was because it trained their minds to think of the Creator as this group of people the sun god, the earth god, the wind god, the water god, who they could pray to and communicate with at any given moment. What do you do in the Trinity? You select which one you will talk to at any time. You, the worshiper, you are in control. You are God. And that's what happened <clears throat> right from the beginning in the garden. The devil made them gods. Not in reality, but in essence, in their minds. You can be as God. What does every single Christian church teach you? Be like Jesus. You are listening to the sermon of Satan and teaching it and believing it when you say those words. Be like Jesus is saying be like Satan. Be like the devil. That's what you are doing. That is scriptural. That is at the very root core of what he did. That's why Genesis is so useful. It's right at the foundation. And people tell me that, no, Mark, all this stuff is in the world because of sin. Yeah, you're right. It's because of the sin, the sin of saying you can be like your God. That is the sin. That's why he, he made the first sin something that seems to be innocuous, like eating from a tree. It wasn't innocuous. Why didn't he make it murder? Why didn't he make it at least lying or stealing or something that we can really put our finger on? Eating from a tree... That is the sin that caused us to fall. The entire human race fell because some guy ate from a tree? Really? No. It was a statement it made. It was a statement of, there is someone else like your creator. And I, in fact, am going to be like that one. And they were listening to someone who said, in essence, he could be like one because, or he could be like God because he was telling them what to do. God is the only one that can really show you who you are and how to live. So that's, that's why I say it's the ultimate sin. 
is the first sin. The first sin, which was adding to the number of God. Hear those words. Repeat them in your mind. Adding to the number of God. That is what the Trinity does. And that is what you do if you believe in the Trinity. And that is why I say you who believe in the Trinity are responsible for all the horrors that are in the world today. Because you have caused it. You are in agreement with the ones that are bringing it on us. That is the sin. That is the sin. The sin of making your God something other than who he is. You make him into a them. God is not a them. God is not a doctrine. God is not a philosophy, a theology, a tradition of men. God is a person. And until and unless you know that, you will never know him. Never. So get to know him. Get to know your one true and living God, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.